Uh, uh, howdy folks, uh, you ever uh, buy some 2x4s at the big box store, get home, start cutting, and then find out there was some staples left in? Uh, let's figure out how to get around that problem. I've talked a little bit about this before, and I think I showed the, I, I know I showed the product, but uh, I ran into a couple of uh, things in the last few weeks where I had to use it again, and it was really handy, and I thought, you know, we sort of need to get back to this thing. So I looked through the show uh, episodes, and it was like, it was way back, and it was like, it was mixed with other things. So today, this is the topic. You know, this is what I want to show you guys again, and it's this right here. They're not that expensive, in fact, uh, it's a metal detector, but it's inexpensive. They run around $22 to $30 even for a you know, decent one. You can spend more than that, but I don't think, you know, you and me, I don't think we need to. But not that long ago, I needed to find a property pin here on the property, and this thing made it like just seconds, and I found the pin. But also, I had another piece of lumber that was like this one right here. I'll see if I can hold that up a little bit. It's got some uh, pinholes in it. From like old brad nails or something and again you're not going to cut this because it's like there might still be something in there so again you just hit the button and the little light comes on you can hear the beep which means it's working and the best way to check it of course is just take something you know here's a really big bad at nail but you can see like yeah you know like it, it sees the nail or in this case, you've got a two by four that you know obviously has a screw right there. That's just for you guys to see how you know you just even if you just if you even just close like this, within an inch, it goes off. You know it, it says, hey, there's metal in here. Uh, this one here, oh, we're not sure. We, it's an unknown, and I don't want to run it through my saw or your saw, you know, to find out whether the you know those pins or or the staples or whatever is out of there. So you can just do this real quick. It only takes a second and say, yep, she's clear. There's nothing in that board. I can go ahead and cut this board down with confidence. And I'm not worried about seeing sparks flying off my saw. I would like some comments on uh, anybody that's brought anything back from the big box store and discovered, you know, something in the two by four, whether it be a nail, a staple, rivets, or something else, you know, that was stuck in there from the lumber company. This is gonna save you so much trouble. And like I said, it's just a little pin pointer. It takes batteries. I'll provide a link in the description below, which again, will go ahead to, it'll actually help the, the proceeds for the show. But uh, I think we've got a sale deal on for about $22, I think this week. Um, pretty good price, you know. Throw a couple batteries in there. Batteries seem to last forever with these things. And it's virtually, you know, it's a simple clean machine with one button function and you hear that little beep, 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 and it's like, yep, that means there's metal in there. And I have used it for a lot of crazy things. And of course, if you have an old couch, uh, you probably could use it in the bottom of the couch to look for, you know, loose change, uh, you know, for taco money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this is the thing I wanted to just, like I said, spend some time with you today about it because it uh, recently... I had a board like this idea that came in here and I wanted to run it through my saw and for some reason I just thought, you know what, we'll just do a quick wave of the wand, you know, the pointer, just to make sure there's no metal in there before we run it through the saw because I work a lot of reclaimed lumber. If you use skids or anything torn down uh, lumber or, or reclaimed stuff like I do where you tear a whole, you know, somebody's uh, <clears throat> wall unit out and you drag it here to the barn and I store it, but when I'm going to use that lumber, I have got to check it because there is no telling. There could be, you know, three and a half inch spike nails still in there someplace that we didn't see or whatever when we were tearing everything down or screws. And uh, the uh, good dock screws and stuff, man, the metal they make that stuff out of, it can damage the saw blade. And if I chip even one, one tooth on my blade, I'm going to be upset for the rest of my day. <laughs> so, so this, for a lousy $20, $22, whatever, it prevents the problem, you know. And it has, like I say, a lot of other uses around. Anytime uh, there's a metal situation involved with the wood, you can use this. If you bury a staple in somewhere, 
or a brad nail, especially, I've had that too, where I've had a brad nail shot in, and then looked over the lumber, and the brad nail went down below, and the lumber kind of, you know, closed up a little bit, and it's like, okay, I think it was right about here, so use the pin pointer, and bang, go right to the spot where that uh, brad nail was actually lodged in the lumber. So this is, a, like I said, this is a real good item, guys. If, if, you're wood, if you're into wood, and like say, any kind of reclaimed lumber, anything like that, psh, gotta have one, gotta. It's, it's just foolish not to have something like that around, just to help you from day to day, to keep your saws away from metal. Yes, there's blades you can buy out there that will go through metal, but even then, I'll tell you the truth, I just don't wanna see any of my blades ever run into metal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, what else are we doing? We have a draw today. Let's get to the draw, yeah. Let me go find the bucket and some tickets and we'll start this up. Okay, we need to do the draw thing, and uh, before I forget, uh, a couple of weeks ago, Norm uh, retired over at the TV show, uh, This Old House. We're gonna miss Norm. He was, uh, he was pretty good on that show, and I, I love looking in on it, even though a lot of that stuff they're doing is like, I'll never do that. <laughs> I'll never have the money for that, but anyway. <laughs> Here's what we're drawing for this week, was the Gromit Toolkit, and a uh, link will be provided below that it should have a discount price for this kit. It's a nice kit, about 100 piece, and you have like a stainless steel and a brass finish and stuff. So it's, you know, it's a pretty nice kit. Total entrance was not very exciting, but at the same time, thanks guys for entering. Just because it, just for the support of it or whatever, because I was a little concerned this week, thinking it might not be very many people, you know, that are gonna, you know, put their name in for it, but yeah, it's just nice to see everybody was, it was pretty good. It was uh, 53 people, so that's not much. So there's 53 tickets, as opposed to the usual couple of hundred. Uh, what else would happen this week besides Norm? There was something else I was going to mention uh, this week in the news or whatever that was, you know, wood-related or something. Uh, by the way, before I forget too, this should be, I'm hoping, the last uh, tool of this nature that we should be doing on this show for the future, I think. Uh, I'm going to be leaning more towards uh, wood type tools that we will give away. So I'm hoping that's the way it's going to go. But just today, this is the last thing, I think. Oh, grommet kit wise. Let me, let me show you my grommet kit after we get this uh, out of here. I'll show you mine. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got ticky, 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 ticky. Where are we here? It's blank. Oh, there, there it is. I don't think we've had this guy in here before. Wow! The other end of the country again. Paul! And you are in... I'm having trouble with the address because of the way it came in off the internet, I guess. Putnam, Connecticut. Wow! Paul in Putnam, Connecticut. Say hi to Keith and uh, Dawn up there in the Northeast too while you're at it. But uh, yeah, you're getting... The Gromit Toolkit, Paul. Uh, thanks for entering, and uh, congratulations. You got yourself a toolkit. And I wanted to show you mine. Are you ready for this? This, <laughs> just by the sound of that desk. There it is here. This is the official, okay, U.S. Army Gromit Toolkit. Yeah. And it comes with some, I've had this thing forever, so let's see if we can find the rest of it. Yeah, there's the beater. Oh, that's a monster, isn't it? And there's your, you know, there's your weapon of choice right there, you know. And I've got probably about a thousand of the rings so that I can put these together. So like I said, I have a grommet kit that I'm happy with. I've had this around for ages. I can't remember how long this has been with me, but this is, that's the official U.S. military grommet tool kit. And you need a big hammer when you put those in. Okay, so much for that. Anyway, congratulations, Paul, and when we come back, I will have you set up so we can set up for the next, for next Thursday. We'll have something cool. All right, when I come back. Okay, we're back, and for next Thursday, <laughs> we're doing, yep, the Roy, Roy, Roiba, the Japanese saw. I just call it the Japanese saw, it's just easier for me, anyways. I'll never get that other name right, because I keep thinking Ryobi, as in the uh, 
<laughs> power tools you can get at Home Depot, you know. But we're giving away a Japanese saw. And this saw will come to you. I will take the blade off and put it in with the handle so it can go in a smaller box or something. But this is the one that will go to the lucky winner next Thursday. And let's talk about how to get in on that draw. So all you gotta do is email, and I'll stand over here, to ctrewards at gmx.com. I'll put that right there, okay? In your email, the subject line will be SAW, S-A-W, simple. Open to one per household, anywhere. And uh, on your email itself, just in the body of the letter, just your name and address, like you were doing a, a postal return address or something like that for yourself. And next Thursday, some lucky winner will get himself the Japanese saw. We might do, we call the booby prize, and we've done that before. I might do a booby prize this, this next Thursday for a surprise item for somebody that writes in. So uh, look out if something's coming at you, maybe, you know. And in the meantime, oh, please like, share, and subscribe. Got to beg for that. It's been a pretty slow summer, but it's typical. Uh, I find this time of the year, the kids are at school, people are on vacation, a lot of people are watching other things on YouTube or watching the news, or maybe some cool movies are coming out or something. So it's really hard to say. This has always been the kind of the slow part of the market time of year or something. But uh, yeah, Japanese saw, hey, you know, I hope, I wish I had enough of them to, you know, send everybody one that watches the show, because, we love, love everybody out there. I tell you, we get, we get some awesome stuff in from everybody, from you know emails, you name it. And uh, this is it. I gotta sign off now, because we are done for Thursday. And Monday, we will have a new tool with a new review for woodworking. Yes, love it, yeah. Guys, thanks for watching. Over here.